Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another Ghost of Tsushima video. Patch 2.18 was announced by Sucker Punch this morning via Twitter and within the following days, it will go live. Now, patch 2.18 adds mostly to Legends mode, but there are a couple story mode patches that are happening as well. So if you're interested in these patch notes, definitely stick around. I will say there are some very, very painful and controversial things that are inside of this update, so I won't give too much of my own personal feelings about this i will talk about it a little bit obviously but uh i would very much like to hear your guys's ideas comments and concerns down below in the comment section or in the discord if you guys would like to join hundreds of other gamers in there in order to find people to play with or just talk about ghost stuff in general i hope you guys like this video if you do please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed if not it's all good we love you guys anyway let's get to patch 2.18 All right, guys, for patch 2.18, the very first thing that Sucker Punch talks about, Sucker Punch has fixed a bug where your teammate's health could momentarily dip down below zero, and it counts as a death in customs and in raids, which if you're trying to get the hidden heart and it counts as a death, then it definitely is very frustrating to deal with. So if you've ever been in the game and you heard the death sound, but then you look down at the bottom left and all your teammates were still alive, that's exactly what we're referencing in this specific one right here. So this has prevented people from getting the hidden heart which is basically doing platinum mode with all seven modifiers doing all objectives and nobody going down or losing a zone which can be very difficult especially if you saw that nobody went down but it showed that there's a death so hopefully this does fix it next guys they have added a playstation 4 import button for the legends standalone game so if you are getting the actual game i believe if you get the full game as well you will be able to import your legends data onto whatever game that you have let's say you get legends and you buy the full game then you will be able to import that data into the full game and only have to use that one that is from what i'm gathering unless somebody tells me something different now another thing that they added was that the assassins will no longer break their vanish mode during shared wounds modifiers so when you're in shared wounds and your teammates are being attacked well if they get hit that damage counts towards you as well and normally it would knock the assassin out of their vanish if their teammate across the map got attacked so this is a very cool update especially for the assassins because that is a very frustrating thing to deal with when you're trying to be stealth and you get knocked out of it another big thing that they added guys is the party fill option there is a custom mode option for perfect completion essentially if you are trying to get plat 7 or hell mode is what a lot of people are calling it in order to unlock hidden heart you can now queue specifically with people that are looking to unlock this as well so pretty much people that are very skillful and are already at the right key level in order to perform this it stops you from going with random people that might not exactly know what's going on so this is a very good addition for those of you guys who want a very good challenge and are looking to unlock the hidden heart all right guys now we're going to get into the nitty gritty and this is going to be a very interesting part of this patch update because this is going to be going over item adjustments now the very first thing is that all legendary katanas gain stance master perks by default so if you have masamuna's edge you'll get wind master if you have any other legendary sword depending on you know what stance it is in you automatically get that mastery and another thing to note with this is if you already have that stance perk on that specific katana it will just clear up that spot and it won't change anything else that you have rolled onto the katana. Now guys, this is a very big one right here and I want you to listen closely. Legendary charms can now roll perks and properties that were previously limited to class exclusive charms if that specific legendary charm is bound to a specific class. So let's say you are playing a hunter or an assassin, right? Now, hunters and assassins and every class honestly have specific charms that they use in order to unlock specific things well what this is saying is basically if i put enjo's remorse which is the legendary item that gives you 15 percent damage boost if you are at full health if i put that legendary charm and i lock it onto my hunter i can now turn that legendary charm essentially into a hunter charm by getting hunter ability radius foul arrows and stuff like that and basically make it into a 
hunter charm because that was all previously locked before whereas now if you bind it to a specific class you unlock all of their special perks and properties onto that charm so i i think there's going to be a big shift in the meta and there's going to be a lot of really cool builds out there with this specific patch update and uh, i'm very excited to see your guys's builds now guys another thing they added was they significantly lowered the resolve gain for black powder bombs i'm not going to go into too much how i feel about these next two um but this is just absolutely painful um that's all i'm gonna say skipping stone bow by the way is another thing skipping stone bow no longer generates extra resolve from the ricocheted arrows uh if you've watched my channel you know that um hunter is my favorite class and a lot of people main hunter and a lot of people use hunter in order to be on the leaderboards and all kind of speed runs and stuff like that the yeah this is the second time they've nerfed the skipping stone bow don't get me wrong it's still a very very powerful bow but all we can do is just adapt and push forward next guys they added munitions perks to cow traps and demon seeds which is the legendary cow trap version so now when you have that you can throw munitions on there and help out your team as if you had a smoke bomb so this will be very good especially for samurai who normally use like healing gourds or something like that and cow traps or the ronin that use cow traps as well because now you can put munitions on there and uh you know get some good get some good munitions back well let's not get ahead of ourselves because the very next thing that they threw in on here is they reduced the drop rate for black powder bombs flash bombs fire arrows and piercing arrows that are dropped from munitions perk so essentially they took the munitions perk and nerfed it greatly um i i'm still kind of in shock about this one I, I don't know i would very much like to hear how you guys feel about this but uh yeah let's just move on before i start crying melee resolve gain property maximum value increased by 25 percent i don't know if that means they fixed the melee resolve gain because for all i know for the longest time melee resolve game has been completely useless because it hasn't worked properly so if any of you guys know differently because none of my builds have that because it never worked before let me know in the comments below guys fire damage property maximum value is increased to 20 percent 20 percent so they buffed the fire damage a little bit but they reduced the amount of black powder bombs that you get so your bombs are going to do more damage which maybe means you you need a little bit less bombs i'm not exactly sure how this is going to play out but a buff to fire damage is always a good thing honestly another thing they added for assassins is assassinate from above damage property maximum is increased now to 50 percent next the samurai skill deep strikes is increased to 25 percent melee damage i believe it was 10 percent melee damage before but it got way buffed to 25 percent melee damage that's absolutely insane <laughs> next guys they fixed the bug where black powder bombs did not count for some mastery challenges so if you were having issues trying to complete mastery challenges and the black powder bomb was kind of messing up um well hopefully they fix it now with this upcoming patch another thing they fixed they fixed a bug where silver and gold survival missions showed the incorrect mission modifiers another thing guys they fixed a bug in survival where after the game ends between when the game ended and when the scoreboard pops up if a ghost would die in between there it would kind of affect the loot that you get after the game lastly for legends guys they fixed a rare bug where legends tutorial was impossible to complete i actually had a lot of people asking me questions on how to complete certain tutorials and now it makes sense because i guess it was bugged now for single player, for those of you guys who have single player, they did two things for the single player story mode. Increased the silk inventory held by new game plus merchants, and they fixed certain dialogues and cutscenes and issues that are in the single player as well. So guys, that is patch 2.18. I would very much like to hear your guys' feedback down below or in the Discord channel if you guys would like to join. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If not, it's all good. We love y'all anyway. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Much love. Peace.